One of the best method to achieve proficiency is to learn from others. Hello friends, welcome back to my After Effects tutorial channel and this is Randy from Ranch Graphics and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create this. We are now inside After Effects, all I have to do is to create a new composition and I will name it Placeholder 1. The width I will change this to 1920 and the height is 1080p. 30 frames per second and 7 seconds duration, click OK. Go to the project panel, open this assets folder, open the image folder and drop down this image down into the timeline. Press S on the keyboard for the scale and scale it down. Position the image according to your preference. Go to layer, create a new adjustment layer. Go to effects and preset, go to color correction, try tone. Change the midtone colors here. I'll just type the code 38A6A5. Then click OK. I will highlight this adjustment layer, press T on my keyboard for the opacity. Then change the opacity value here to 50%. Go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it text one. Now I will change the width here to 1000 and the height I will change this to 400 pixels. The frame rate is 30 and the duration is 7 seconds. Click OK. I will zoom it in. Now grab the text tool and type creative design. I'm using the font called Atoka, regular 36 pixels. Make sure that the paragraph here is at the center. Align it horizontally, then grab the text tool again and type parallax. This time I'm gonna change the font size here to 72 and align it horizontally and vertically. Grab again the text tool and type slideshow. And I will just change the font size here back to 36, align it horizontally. I will just drag it up like this and I will highlight this creative design and I will just drag it down like that. Center it horizontally. Now go to the layers and highlight it all. Enable the 3D layers. Open it up and go to animate. Go to tracking and make sure that you place this at the beginning of your timeline and create a keyframe by hitting this tracking amount and change on the slideshow to 20 then on the parallax go to tracking again create a keyframe by hitting this tracking amount change the amount here to 60 take this creative design animate it by hitting this tracking and create a keyframe on the tracking amount and change the value here to 20 Move your playhead to 2 seconds duration and change the value on the creative design to 0. And change the slideshow to 0. I will just go back again here, change the tracking amount on the creative design to 40. Then move the playhead to 3 seconds and I will change the tracking amount here on the parallax to 0. I will close it. I will highlight it all. Press my keyboard U to see the keyframes. Then highlight all the keyframes. Press F9 to easy ease it. Now 
then I will go to the project panel and open this rendered make a composition by dragging out here and go to layer create a new solid and I want this color click OK I will drag this down under the line 1 change the track mat here to Luma if I will scrub my blade forward you can see I will highlight this line too and drag it down to create a composition then go to layer and create a new solid and I want this color click OK drag it down just below the line too and change the track mat here to Luma now go to composition create a new composition I will name it matrix 1920 to 1080p 30 frames per second and 7 seconds duration click OK Highlight this line 1 and line 2, drop it down to the timeline. Toggle switch its mode in here, enable the 3D layers, press P on your keyboard for the position, change the Z position to negative 200. And I will highlight this one and drag it up a bit. I will move forward my playhead to see the lines like that. Then I will highlight again both of these layers and press my keyboard control D to duplicate it. I will drag it down. Press P on my keyboard to see the position. I will change the Z position here to 200. On the line 2, I will not change this negative 200. All I have to do is to close it, highlight it again, and press my keyboard Ctrl D to duplicate it. Then I will drag it down. Press P on my keyboard for the position. I will change the Z position here to negative 100. Then the line 2, I will change this to 100. Highlight both of these layers. Press my keyboard Ctrl D to duplicate it and drag it down. Then press P on my keyboard for the position. I will just change the line to Z position to negative 200. Rearrange this. You can position it to your choice, okay? Then I'm going to go to Composition, create a new Composition. I will name it Matrix Comp. 1920 by 1080p, 30 frames per second, 7 seconds duration, click OK. Drop this matrix into the timeline. See? Now all I have to do is to make this a 3D layer. And enable the collapse transformation switch. Press on my keyboard Ctrl D to duplicate it. Drag this up like this. And highlight the bottom and drag it down. Go to layer, go to transform, flip horizontal. Go again to layer, go to transform and flip vertical. Go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it big shape. Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and seven seconds duration. Click OK. Grab the shape tool and draw a shape like this. Open rectangle shape. Open rectangle path and disable the scale proportion. Change this size on the x value to zero, and on the y value change this to two thousand five hundred. The position change the x value to negative six four four. Then make sure that your blade is at the beginning of your timeline and create a keyframe on the size by hitting the stopwatch in here and on the position. Then move forward your blade head to about 1 second and 10 frames duration. Then change the size on the X value to 1500 and the position change this to 0. Then open transform, change the skew here to 15. Then change the position to negative 64. And on the Y value, change this to 16. Go open transform. Change the anchor point value on the X to negative 64. Then on the Y value, change this to 16. Go to the position and change the position on the X value to 992.5.
then the y value change this to 540 then highlight the shape and go to effects and preset go to blur and sharpen and add fast box blur change the iterations to 1 the blur radius is 50 and check the repeat edge pixels now go to composition create a new composition i will name it shape reverse Nineteen twenty by ten eighty p thirty frames per second and seven seconds duration. Click OK. I will go to the project panel and drop down this big shape into the timeline. Go to layer and create a new solid. I want this color. Click OK. Then drag this medium sized solid just below the big shape. Tool switch is mode engineer. Change the track mat here to alpha inverted mat. I will highlight the big shape and go to effects and preset. Go to blur and sharpen, add pass box blur. Change the value on the blur radius to 163. Iterations 1. Then I will check the repeat edge pixels. Go to composition, create a new composition. I will name it glitter. Same configuration here, click OK. Go to layer, create a new solid. I want the color of the solid black, click OK. Make sure that this is highlighted. Go to effects and preset. Go to simulation and go to CC particle world. Change the birth rate here to 1. Open producer. Change the X radius here. Like this. And also the Y radius. Go to particles and change the particle type to star. Then change the birth color here to 3E, D9, D8. Click OK. Change the Z radius here to 1.265. Then open the physics. Change the velocity here to 0.20. And the gravity change this to 0 0.010. Go to particles and change this birth size to 0 0.050. The depth size is 0 and the size variation is 100%. Depth color is the same color with the birth color. Go to effects and preset. Go to stylize. Add glow. I want the intensity too. Go open project panel. Open project assets. Open rendered folder. Make a composition by highlighting this anchor reflection and drag it here. So when we enable the transparency, and move forward or playhead you can see now go to composition create a new composition name it transition 1 1920 by 1080p 30 frames per second and 7 seconds duration click ok open big shape i will just enable the 3d layer here and also the shape reverse Double switches modes and enable the 3d layer here and open transition 1 Highlight this placeholder one and drop it down into the timeline. Highlight the big shape, drop it down into the timeline. Highlight both layers, toggle switches modes in here. Enable the 3D layer and press P on your keyboard for the position. And change the Z position on the placeholder one to 196. Then on the big shape layer, change the Z position to negative 120. Then toggle switches modes in here. Change the track mat on the placeholder one to alpha mat. Then highlight both layers and press your keyboard control D to duplicate it. Then I will parent this big shape below to the placeholder one. Go to your project panel and drop this shape reverse into the timeline and also the ink reflection. And again, I will highlight both layers. Toggle switches modes in here. I want this as 3D layers. Press P on my keyboard for position. Then I will change the shape reverse Z position to negative 265. On the anchor reflection, I will change this to negative 153. Then toggle switches modes in here. Change the blending mode on the anchor reflection one to add. Then go to your project panel and drop down this glitter into the timeline. 
toggle switch is moved in here and enable the collapse transformation switch in here and enable the 3d layer now go back to your project panel and highlight this matrix comb drop it down into the timeline enable the 3d layer enable the collapse transformation switch highlight this matrix comb and press p on your keyboard for the position change the z position here to negative 708 highlight this matrix comb press your keyboard ctrl d to duplicate it then drop it down the bottom now go back to the project panel and open this dust folder and drop this dust image into the timeline press s on your keyboard for the scale and scale it up then right click your mouse and pre-compose it i will name it dust move all the attributes into the new composition click ok i will enable the 3d layer here to go switch this mode in here change the blending mode here to screen then i will press t on the keyboard for the opacity and change the opacity to 50 percent then go to the project panel and drop down this slide footage into the timeline right click on your mouse and go to time enable time remapping extend the layer to the end of your timeline and also the keyframe highlight this footage and i will pre-compose it i will name it pain move all the attributes into the new composition and click ok toggle switches modes in here and enable the 3d layer then i will go to layer create new camera i'm just using a custom camera click ok for composition create a new composition i will name it scene 1 1920 by 1080p and change the duration here to 7 seconds click ok go to project panel and drop down this transition one into the timeline enable the collapse transformation switch in here go to layer create new camera i'm using custom preset camera click ok go to layer create new null object enable 3d layer press p on your keyboard for the position shift r for the rotation and shift s for the scale then make keyframe on the y and z rotation Make sure that your playhead is at the beginning of the timeline and move forward your playhead to 6 seconds and 10 frames duration. Change the value on the Y rotation to 7 and on the Z rotation change this to negative 13. Change the value on your scale to 42. Create a keyframe by hitting the stopwatch on the scale. Move your playhead to 2 seconds duration and change the value here to 95. I will highlight all these keyframes and press F9 to ease it. Go to my graph editor, open it up, highlight this corner and drag it on the right side. Just like that. Go to layer, create a new null object. Right click your mouse and rename it in out. Enable 3D layer and make sure to parent this null object to the in out and parent the camera to the null object one then press p on your keyboard for the position shift r for the rotation move your play to two seconds duration and create a keyframe on the y rotation then move your play forward to six seconds duration and create a keyframe on the position and change the z position here to 30 and on the y rotation change this to 30 degrees then move backwards your play it to the two seconds duration and create a keyframe by hitting this tiny diamond in here make sure that the z position is zero then i will highlight all these keyframes press f9 on my keyboard to ease it open the graph editor highlight this corner and drag it on the right side i will also highlight this corner and drag it on the right side and i just want this to move to the six seconds and ten frames then open my rendered folder i will drop down this lens flare into the timeline right click my mouse and enable time remapping i'll just extend this layer up to the end of my timeline and also the keyframe i will right click my mouse and pre-compose it i will name it lens flare move all the attributes into the new composition click ok I will enable the 3D layer here, press P on my keyboard for the position, I will change the Z position here to 100. Then I will toggle switch this mode in here and change the blending mode to screen. Go to effects and preset, go to color correction and add tritone. 
click this mid tones change the color here to 3e d9 d8 then click ok i will just add again another effect called glow i will change the glow threshold to 80 percent and the glow intensity i will change this to 1.5 i think that should be good enough go back to project panel and drop down this text into the timeline go about one second duration place your player there and highlight both of these layers and press open bucket key to move those layers then i will highlight this lens flare zoom it in move forward my player a bit so i can see the player move the players up a bit i think that should be good enough then I will close this rendered folder, also these assets. Then I will create a folder and I will name it Common Comps. Then I will highlight and drag these compositions that I'm not gonna tweak. Then I will create another folder and I will name it S1 drag all the compositions that are under scene 1 then i will again create another folder and i will name it s2 highlight all these compositions duplicate it drag it down into the s2 folder open s2 folder highlight it double click it to open it up Open the place folder to delete this image. Go to assets. Open the image folder. Drop down this image into the timeline. Press on your keyboard for the scale. Scale it down. Open the text to delete this slideshow word. Then highlight the creative design. Double click it to change the text. I will change it to smooth. Highlight this parallax. Double click my mouse to change the text. And I will change it to transition. Then I will press P on my keyboard and change the Z position here to negative 100. I will open matrix 2, highlight some of it and I will just tweak it like this. Open the matrix comb and highlight it. I will just drag it down a bit like this. And this one, I will drag it up. Open transition 2. Click your keyboard Alt and hold it. And change the compositions here to the scene 2 compositions. Open scene 2 compositions and change the transition 1 to transition 2. Then change the text 1. To text 2 then highlight this lens flare just move it a bit on the right side and down a bit and I will go to composition create a new composition I will name it main 1920 by 1080p and the duration I will change this to 13 seconds click ok I will drop down this scene 2 into the timeline Open the scene 1 and drop down into the timeline. Highlight this scene 2. Move your play head to 6 seconds duration. And press open bucket key to move that layer. I will highlight both of the layers. Press T on my keyboard for the opacity. And create a keyframe on the opacity. Then change the opacity on the scene 2 folder to 0. Move your play head forward to 7 seconds duration. Make the scene 2 compositions to 100%. Scene 1, change this to 0. Then highlight all these keyframes and press F9 on your keyboard to ease it. Go to layer, create a new solid. And I will name it Vignette. Make it comb size, click OK. Then go to your shape tool and double click it to make a mask. And open the mask, change the add to subtract. Change the value on your mask feather to 613. Then go to layer and create a new camera. I'm using custom preset camera. Click OK. Go back to layer and create a null object. And tell switches mode in here. Enable the 3D layer on your null object. 
parent the camera on your now object so we're gonna have to fix two problems in here first is the text it's not that visible and there's a problem here it seems that it's bleeding and if you want this matrix lines to be diagonal all we have to do is to go back to scene 2 open it up and make sure that the play it is at the two seconds duration and change the scale value here to 86 then the text just add drop shadow go to perspective drop shadow then open transition to change the z value on the rotation of your matrix com to 45 scroll down and also change the matrix comb at the bottom to 45 go to scene one composition make sure that your plate is at the two seconds duration and change the scale value here to 86 then go to the text one and highlight it go to effects and preset perspective drop shadow go open transition one change the z value on the rotation of your matrix comb to negative 45 scroll down and change this matrix bottom comb also negative 45 then go back to main move back your playhead to the beginning of your timeline and let's preview this see So now guys we are done with our tutorial and if you find this video helpful to you don't forget to press like comment if you have problems on it and share it to your friends okay for those people who have not yet subscribed to my channel smash the button subscribe and press like comment and my thoughts for the day guys is that mistake is considered to be failure if you don't correct it thank you guys for watching and see you on my next video god bless